Hey guys, welcome to this week's cash envelope stuffing. This is going to be a very small cash envelope stuffing because we spent way too much money this week, which you'll see in the second part of this video. But yeah, there's gonna be two parts of this video. The first part is going to be the mini cash envelope stuffing. Um, it's mini because I'm only gonna be hitting a few items. The second part of the video is just going to be a check-in from the 1st of July to the 8th of July, which was yesterday, just to kind of show you guys that I spent way too much money, which is why I don't want to stuff too much into my sinking funds because I already like spent so much money. So yeah, um, we're going to start with the cash envelope stuffing. So first things first, we have our bills. So we're going to start with groceries as usual and groceries will be getting $30. Nothing left, of course. If you wait until the second part of this video, you'll know exactly why there's absolutely nothing left in anything. Gas will come back to drinks. Like I said, I'm gonna start stuffing it directly into my card holder, but I did get this mini from Budget with Ally. She's not currently on YouTube, but she may be back. Um, I actually got a whole set of envelopes from her and I'll show you guys later on. But yeah, for drinks, we're gonna do $30, so 10. 20, 25, and 30. 10, 20, 25, 30. Also, if you guys hear noise outside, it's because my window's open. It is way too hot to not have my windows open, so I apologize for that. Okay, so my drinks is in here. And then spending will get its usual 70, so 20, 40, 60, 70. I also did film a mini cash envelope stuffing last week, but I didn't end up uploading it just because the fan was on too loud in the background. So there's a couple envelopes where the balances have changed, but I will update you guys on those ones. So gas, we ended up having $50 left at the end of June. So I took that out and put it in my hair envelope and then we stuffed 150 into gas for July. And this week we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120 left. So as you'll be able to tell from the second part of the video, I didn't spend an even $30 on gas, but because we don't have dollar bills here, I had to round up. But that'll make sense later on. Um, utilities only has $15 in it left, so we're just going to put in a 20. So there will be 35. Our utilities aren't due until the end of the month, so there is a little bit of time to stuff it. Investments won't be getting anything. It still has the 105 in here and subscriptions is empty, but we are not stuffing it this week either. Um, probably hit that next week. These are the envelopes I got from Budget with Ali. They're the lemon set that she offers. I think they're really, really cute and I'm planning to use these for bills. Um, when I come out with my updated financials video, you're going to see that I'm gonna switch up the way I like pay my bills and stuff. So. I got these envelopes for when I do that. So that'll be first week or fir yeah, first week of August. I will be doing that. And that's it for bills. I don't know if we're stuffing any of our cash envelopes, but I still want to go through to let you guys know if there are any updates. So personal's the same. Migo, we bought him a new cat tree. So we used some money out of here. So now Migo has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, and 160. So Migo has $160 left. Hair, like I said, I put the extra $50 that we had left over from gas into hair. So now hair has 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. So we have 390 in hair. 
home is empty we ended up spending everything in this envelope just on cleaning supplies for our old place and our new place and for stuff like clothes hangers that we just needed we just took it out of here so that's why it's completely empty my boyfriend's envelope hasn't been touched gifts has ten dollars in it um beauty is empty because i just got my nails done today i think i had 75 dollars in beauty and my nails ended up being 60 but i tipped 20. So yeah, there's nothing left in there. Stationery still has its 15. Giving is empty. I actually, um, there, I only had $10 in this from last week, but I ended up donating this to um, this girl's GoFundMe. I saw her on TikTok and her dad is sick of cancer. So they were raising money through GoFundMe for an experimental trial. So I decided to put the um, money that I had in this envelope and donate it to her GoFundMe. Clothing still has $10, and that is it for this envelope. I mean, this binder. Okay, and then the sinking funds. I did condense some bills in here, so it might look a little different. So cash savings still has $2.55 in here. I just ended up condensing the bills, so it's much thinner. The moving envelope is empty. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, so the moving company ended up being $580, and I think a large part of that is because it was so hot out. It was like 40 degrees the day that we were moving. So everyone was moving kind of slowly, which I like I totally don't mind. It's so hot, and I'm so thankful that they even like they didn't cancel because like you know, moving in 40 degrees is not fun. But yeah, so this envelope is empty, um, and I had to use some money in my bank account to pay them, but whatever. Um, car has not changed. School, I did stuff $120 into school just so I would have a full $2,000 and then I can put it all in the bank. So now there is $2,000 in the bank and nothing in the envelope. So today we're going to be putting $100 in school. So now school has $2,000 in the bank and $100 in cash for a total of $2,100. YouTube, I did send the giveaway winners their money, so I only have $15 in here, which this is going to be for um, the winner of the other prize, so like the eight envelopes and the binder, whenever she would like to redeem her prize, then I'll use this money to send her prize to her. Taxes is empty, didn't change. Um, travel didn't change, Christmas didn't change, and 52 week challenge. I did not keep up with stuffing it, so I'm technically three weeks behind on this. But I did change the denominations in here just so it's much thinner. Um, if you guys remember, there was so many bills in here before. But now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 520 in the least amount of bills possible. And I didn't use a random number generator this week just because, like I said, I like I'm not stuffing that much money so I just wanted to do some of the lower numbers and that is the amazing thing about this challenge some weeks you just don't have as much to stuff and on those weeks you can go for the low numbers so since I was three weeks behind I picked three numbers so I picked 12 13 and 15 and then that added up to 40 so I have $40 here So now in 52 week challenge, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 40, 60. So we have $560, which is nice. Hopefully starting next week, I can um, increase the amount that I put in and start using the random number generator again. But yeah, just for these past three weeks, um, it's been super busy. Everything has been super expensive. So I decided to go with the lower numbers. Okay, hey guys, so we're going to start off with the check-in. Like I said, I'm not gonna be doing this every week. I just thought that this would be a good week to show kind of like what we spent or what I spent when we did not stick to budget at all. Um, we were moving this week. We moved on June 30th, but then we didn't have everything unpacked. We still don't have everything unpacked um, as of yet. So I'm just gonna be checking in July 1st to the 8th today. And then today's the 9th, so we're a little bit more settled in, so um, hopefully after that we can start, you know, cooking and saving money because I did the math and we spent a lot of money. So I have a little key here, just so you guys know the what the different categories of the stickers mean, and then I'm just gonna use the blank box at the end to um, sort of tally up everything I spent. So we'll just start with July 1st. 
And this is the day after we moved. July 1st is a stat holiday, so my boyfriend and I didn't have to work. So we basically just spent the whole day unpacking, but this day we went to McDonald's and you'll see in this video that we love McDonald's. We eat so much McDonald's, it's so bad, but we live really close to one and we just like to eat McDonald's in general, so yeah. I spent $16.68 and then we also went to Circle K, which is, it used to be called Max, but it's basically just like a convenience store. We always get like Polar Pops or Slurpees there, so I spent $5.44 there. And then in the morning, we also went to Starbucks because we gave our keys back to our landlord this day. So after we gave the keys back, we stopped at Starbucks for some coffees and croissants. But the croissants, I redeemed my Starbucks points for it, so we didn't actually have to pay for it. And then at night, we had Hot Pot. Um, don't know why we wanted Hot Pot when it was like 30 something degrees, but we were both just craving vegetables because we didn't eat vegetables like all week basically. So we went to Hot Pot. It was all you can eat, really, really good. And it was 48.25 each. All these amounts that I'm writing are amounts that I pay. If my boyfriend and I put something on our joint credit card, then I will just put my half of the total on here. So that is it for July 1st. It was a bunch of food, but yeah. Um, okay, so then on July 2nd, we both had to go back to work, but after work, it was my boyfriend's aunt's birthday. So on the way back from work, I stopped to get gas first, and then my gas, my half of the gas, it was 57, 50, no, sorry, 27.50. So my full tank was like, double that but since we put it on our joint card and we split the joint card I only paid half of it um and then also that day during my lunch hour I went to Canadian Tire to get an ice blanket I saw this TikTok hack where you can like make your own AC with the ice blanket but I don't think it worked so that's kind of a waste of money but whatever it was cheap we put this on our black card I mean we put this on our joint card so um my half was three dollars and 93 cents and then like i said we did go to rec room it's basically like i don't know how to describe it like is it like dave and busters i don't know it's like just like a bunch of arcade games for adults so i spent 27.57 and that was my half of the amount of credits that we loaded onto our um rec room wristband okay and that was it for the second for the third, I did have a expense come out of my bank account, and that is for Twitch. Oops, sorry, the third. So my one of my good friends, he streams on Twitch, so to sort of show my support, I do subscribe to him every month, so that's $7.34. And then the only other expense item was for food once again. I went to Tim Hortons. My boyfriend had to work this day, so I went with him in the morning, and we stopped at Tim Hortons and we got like coffees and he got farmer's wraps to take to work with him. And that's it for the third because this day we just spent all day unpacking. For July 4th, we just have two food expenses. First one is pho. Again, don't know why we wanted pho. I'm just going to cover this Independence Day. Um, I don't know why we wanted pho because it was really hot, but we just wanted it and it was good. So I paid $22.80. And then for dinner, we had Popeyes, and that's because we basically we were dog sitting his family's dog because they went on vacation. So we just picked up Popeyes and ate it there while keeping the dog company. Okay. Um, July 5th, another food expense. So, like I said, we didn't really cook, like, we didn't cook at all this week. And so we also didn't have lunch to bring to work. So I bought lunch out a lot of times, I think like every day. So on the 5th, I spent $8.36 on OPA, which is like a Greek place. And then after work, the two of us went to Superstore and we just bought a bunch of groceries so that we could make some food. Or, well, we bought a rotisserie chicken, basically, and the rest is just like toilet paper and stuff for the house. So. I spent $57.50 because we put it on our joint card. 
And then we also stopped at Shoppers Drug Mart because we forgot to buy bottled water. So that is the last thing we spent money on on this day and my half was $3.06. Okay, and then on the 6th, let's see. Okay, I spent $1.05 at the dollar store. I can't remember what I bought, but I think it was like a bag of chips or something to eat at work because I was like kind of hungry I yeah I'm pretty sure it was like a bag of popcorn and then I also went to McDonald's that day also at work I spent five dollars and 39 cents and I had the sausage McMuffin um, combo I don't like sausage and egg because I don't like the eggs at fast food places but yeah, that's what I had at McDonald's. And then that is it for the 6th. On the 7th, again, did not bring lunch. So went to Subway. I was actually just gonna get a six inch sub, but then I saw they have s'mores cookies. So I decided to just make it a combo. So that was $9.64. And then also at work, I was feeling like a little bit of heartburn probably because I've been eating like complete crap for the last two weeks. So I had to go to London Drugs and pick up some Tums. So that is $6.29. And then at night, my boyfriend had plans with his friends for dinner. So I was alone and there was no food to eat. So I treated myself to some sushi and that was $42.96. I feel like sushi, you can't just get, like if you're eating by yourself, you can't just get like one roll, you know, you have to get like a bunch of stuff. That's why I ended up being a little bit pricey, but I had some leftovers um, and then my boyfriend just ate that when he got back. And then on the 8th, once again, we went to Circle K. We got two Polar Pops and a bag of chips this day. Oh, that was really crooked. Oh well. But yeah, that's what we got at Circle K. And then I also got McDonald's again at work so bad I know but yeah the sausage McMuffin is just very good okay and then the last thing we spent money on that I'm going to be including in this check-in is dinner so we had Pizza Hut and my half was $20 and that is it so if you add everything up the totals are pretty crazy um the total for eating out is $220.71. The total for spend is $34.91. For gas, it was just $27.50. And for other, it was $71.83 for a total of $354.95. Obviously, we do not spend this much money every week. We don't eat out this many times a week. I think like um like in terms of lunch at work i probably only buy lunch like once or maybe twice a week and then we obviously like we don't eat out this often every day so yeah this is just a really bad week and the point of this video is just to, just to show you guys that like i'm not always on budget but you know it's completely fine so yeah i hope you enjoyed this little bit of the video and i hope you like everything else but yeah that is it for me guys i hope you guys like this weekly check-in slash mini cash envelope stuffing um i might not do a weekly check-in every week just because i feel like not everyone likes watching those videos and there's like a really loud car outside right now so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish off this video but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next week bye